This is the first video in a segment that we are gonna call The Story of Us. In the series, we are gonna just share stories about firsts and things in our marriage and relationship that are funny and interesting. So in lieu of it being Valentine's Day week, month, it's February, um, we wanted to share the story of our first Valentine's Day together, mm -hmm. which was pretty... I feel like each of our perspectives is totally different. Yeah. So our first Valentine's Day together. How did I ask you on that day? So Harris and I um, had been friends for a while. We're kind of jumping right into the thick of things here because we were friends and we were working on YouTube together. Hence, if you go back on my channel to like my first videos. We were, we were never friends. We were just friends. We were never just we friends. Had never, we had never kissed or cuddled or like any sort of thing other than platonic relationship up until this point. You had tricked me on a couple dates before this. Harris Story liked, another time. Harris liked tricking me into dates because I was into another guy and really had no eyes for anybody else and he was uh, liked to trick me into dates. So we were working on a YouTube video together and he was like, hey, when do you want to finish this up? And he's like, what are your, what's your day like on Friday? And I didn't even think of it as Valentine's Day, I like forgot. And he, I was like, oh, I'm free anytime after five. And he's like, perfect, I'll pick you up at seven for a date. I was completely screwed. <laughs> I'm proud of these things, by the way. I know, and it was actually kind of annoying at the time, but that's... Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be uh, breeding this new generation of stalkers because yeah, no. of my stories. <laughs> Maybe don't do exactly what he did, because mm. he was balls to the wall gutsy in pursuing me. There was a reason. Let's keep going with the story. So let me let me take it from here for a little bit. So I picked you up come Valentine's Day. Oh, I do remember this. You picked me up and you were... I do remember being like, oh, he tried. He tried I mean, maybe so you hard. Should, all I remember is the... All I remember is the, the ring. You, no, you picked me up. We went to communal. Okay. Oh, so this we, is the communal he day. He picked me up and he normally just wore like the same t-shirt and jeans. His style has increased Lots of different over... different t-shirts. No, you're... Okay, but the same like three t-shirts and jeans. Your style was very <laughs> much like limited when I first knew you and I've helped you a lot. Mm -hmm. And for this date, he was wearing like a new like cute fitted waffle shirt from like American it like my, Eagle. It was like thermal, wasn't it? <laughs> it was like a thermal. Yeah. And he had like tried to look really cute and it was like really heartwarming. I'm like, oh, I'm not into him, but he's really trying. This is so sad and cute. He picked me up, didn't know where we were going or what we were doing. She and didn't know. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. And he takes me to possibly the nicest restaurant in town. Super expensive. And like delicious. And I was You dying. still don't know. No, I eat. But okay, so I had a thing. I was really weird about letting guys pay for me before we got married. I just didn't like guys paying for me because I was a strong, independent woman and I didn't like men. It made me feel like I was owed. Like, like I owed them, so I just didn't like it. Anyways, and the fact that you took me to a really nice restaurant made me really uncomfortable, so I just didn't eat anything. <laughs> She refused to eat anything. Didn't you order something and then not eat it? And I ate it? Or no, something? you like ordered for us because I was like, I'm not very hungry. Like I ate. She was and starving, I lied. by the way. And I lied and I was like, I'm not hungry. I, ha I ate. And Harris was like, like, okay, well, I'm just gonna order some stuff. Like, does this sound good to you? I'm like, sure. And I ate like two bites of everything. <sighs> And I felt so bad. <laughs> so she didn't, I took her to this really nice restaurant. She didn't eat anything. And so we left. Yeah, but it was so cute. I remember we talked. Oh my gosh, do you remember our conversation when we I were don't talking? The it was like we were friends and then we were on this like date situation and so we were like really comfortable, but there was like this like hint of awkwardness because like we were having like date like conversation, you know, where you were like asking me about I have like a hair, there we go, on my face. You were asking me like date questions like tell me about your family and like whatever. And it was like getting like past the like friendship zone that I had very much kept us in on purpose. <laughs> But it was so cute. I remember you talking to me about your family and like your brother at one point. I remember you talking about you and your brother and I like had no, didn't know your family or anything. And this was like really, I just remember thinking like he is really putting on his A game. Like just really, <laughs> really trying to like be so It was small. probably a B minus game, but that was the best game I had. Yeah, no, and it was so <laughs> cute. But like I was also low key annoyed because I was like, I, you are my friend. Stop trying to escape this friend zone I have put you in. I don't know if in like retrospect that was like okay or not, but I don't know. It's fine. It'll work well, out. We'll, we'll be able to judge it with the next half of the date. Took her from the restaurant called Communal to the roller skating rink. 
which I didn't know at the time, but that dude she was pining over, apparently he owned the place or something. I don't know. No. I wasn't allowed to take it's, her okay, there. Okay, so it's a roller skating rink, and I just like went there. It just had, I had a lot of memories there, and it was like kind of like a special place in my in my mind, in my heart. And we're skating around, and she's, by the way, important backstory here, Kenzie liked me. I didn't. She won't admit that she liked me, but she had, you did. You did from the very beginning. You had feelings we for me. We can't go into you that. You would never admit it to yourself, but you did. You think I did, I say I didn't. She went up, and she was showing like signs. Like she would like flirt. There was like a little girl. We were skating next to each other. Oh, oh no, this is so annoying. This is <laughs> so annoying that you did this. Oh, we're, 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 we're skating. We're skating. Harris keeps trying to hold my hand, and I keep pulling my <laughs> hand away, like straight up. I'm like, mm, like trying to be like low key and not acknowledge the fact that I'm like, stop trying to hold my hand. I don't want to hold your hand. And Harris was like pushy and don't trying to hold me. Pushy. Yeah. Well, I just kept pulling my hand away, and you kept on grabbing my hand again. You're like, I know you want to hold my hand. And I'm like, and if like I had been into him, it would have been cute. But I was not into him, You're so into it was me. annoying. And you, it was. And he kept cute. on trying to hold my hand. It was and I was I was just very very annoyed and then this little girl comes up and Harris is like tell her she should hold my hand and this girl's like why won't you hold his hand and she's like skating around us for like 15 minutes. She's just like, just hold his hand. And she's being so annoying. She was and Harris my was, hero. Harris was like egging her on. She was my hero. And she obviously was like crushing on Harris and like was just like trying to appease him. And I was like, yeah, right. And I was like, this little girl needs to back off and help a girl out because I don't want him to hold my hand. Oh, and he's also super good at roller skating because he played hockey. Mm -hmm. So he takes me somewhere that he knows will be like, Ooh, look at me. I, I can skate. It wasn't like a Michael Scott and the ice rink situation. <laughs> but I'm a really good skater. Yeah, and so like everybody looks like an idiot on roller skates because you're like kh, 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 and he over here is like doing whatever triple whatever. I was doing triple axles. Yeah, whatever yeah. that is. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and he was just going nuts, showing off on his skates and like skating backwards and be like, oh, this is casual. I can just talk and skate backwards at the same time. And I can do that. That's um, true. And I was getting very overwhelmed because, like, I have a tinge for the drama, um, especially back then. <laughs> and he kept on trying to hold my hand. And, anyways, and I think I got really emotional because, like, this guy I really, really liked was, like, not giving me the time of day. And then here was this guy that I didn't like who was, like, going above and beyond trying to, like, make me like him. And I was just really upset. And I like just was like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom one second. And I went to the bathroom you and missed, I just started crying. There was a point. There was something. <clears throat> there was something you missed there. Oh yeah, he held my hand and then I death grabbed it. it. I grabbed it and I wouldn't let her let go. Yeah, it was kind of like <laughs> rapey. I didn't. I, that made me feel like just straight up like disrespected. <laughs> like you thought you were being cute and I was like just pissed. Like I was not happy See, about it. This is the part where I mean I'm raising a generation of. Creepy stalker kids because yeah, they're gonna be like, that's what I need to do. No, don't I need do to that. grab her hand and not let go. Like, don't do don't that. do that. Don't yeah. do that. There is a time and a place, and one of those times and places is when you know she likes you, but she won't admit it to herself. No, just don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do I it. I took a big risk, and it did not go in his favor. And then that was pretty much. The, did we get dessert or something afterwards? I think that was it. We went back to my place and we watched a TV show and cuddled. Did we? For like four hours. Oh, we did. Hours. We did. Oh, no, no, but between that, okay, so you dropped me off after the date and I was still like really like conflicted and upset and like you were my best friend and like you were trying so hard. Anyways, I was very conflicted and I called one of my best guy friends at the time and I like, I called Tyler mm -hmm. and I he was like my best guy friend, like we grew up together, he's like my brother and I called him and I was like, dude, like I just want to date with Harris and he knew all about Harris. I was like, and I just like, I, I'm really struggling. I don't know what to do because like, he's trying so hard, but I like this guy and like, I've been trying to make it work, blah, blah, blah. And then my friend Tyler is like, get out of your own way. Harris is a great guy. And like, he really likes you and he treats you well. And like, he's like, I think you just need to like, get out of your own head and just like, let yourself like, let someone like you and treat you well. And I like listened to Tyler and Harris, and I said to Harris, because he was like, oh, do you want to go watch Big Bang Theory like after the date? And I said like, By the way, I, this was back when Big Bang Theory was semi-okay. And, um, and I was like, sure, but like I want to change and go back to my place first and I'll drive over to your place. So I ended up going back to your place and I remember like consciously being like, just let him be nice and like let someone like you and like, so I had to like kind of like let my guard down because I feel like I was so into this other guy that I wouldn't let any other guys like me and like be 
into me and I just friend zoned them so hard. And then we ended up cuddling and I remember feeling like, oh wow, I actually really like cuddling with him. Mm -hmm. But then I continued to friend zone you for a couple more months. Yeah, at least another <laughs> six. Anyways, that was our first Valentine's Day. Yeah. If you like this video and you want to see more videos of like our relationship We've got and our a stories, ton of these let stories. us know because we think this could be potentially interesting. Yeah, we got a lot of these. Like the time when I asked you to go uh, stargazing with me. Oh no, okay, don't, don't, don't. Or the time. <laughs> no. Okay, so if you want to hear more stories, let us know. And uh, that's, that's all for this video. Okay, we'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>